Poland have got off to a solid, if unspectacular, start coming into this game off a draw on day one of the campaign. Not ideal, but uh, far from disastrous. And much now depends on the outcome of this pivotal game. A win would certainly put them in the frame for a top two finish. Anything less, and it would be very much on the edge. Stadio Olimpico, a venue that has an old school feel about it. Poland looking at a pivotal game. Second game in the group so often is. Yeah, Peter, and the mood in the stadium very much suggests that now is the time to kick on and ensure that three points are, are added to their opening room. Not a time for holding back. They can instead make a statement here, telling the rest they're going to take control of the group. We have already started here. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Yep, Saul. His brilliant technical ability and eye of the needle passing can make a, a big difference to this team. He's got a wonderful engine too and, and seems to always get himself involved in the thick of the action at both ends of the pitch. Morata! Again, let me mention what a wonderful stop the goalkeeper pulled off there. Really wonderful. Anything noteworthy in the early part of the match, Jim? Well, neither side has really grabbed the initiative, I would say, both. And a header! Oh, that is asking for trouble. Click goes for a sweeping cross. Header! A oh, great save, real class. Well, that was high-class goalkeeping there to back up his, his high-class wage. It's a good run down the right. Where could this lead? Chesney deals with it effortlessly. Questions were asked, and he's given the answers. That's beautiful, intricate passing. They are toying with their opponents. Well, they know that their version of what they do is extremely good. I mean, it's a level of possession that... Well, he certainly caught him there. It's a free kick. Well, he was the one player you had to keep away from the area. Not the best way to do it, though. We all love a trier, Peter, but the wiser choice would have been ball into box. Sergio Ramos positions himself well and cuts it out. Click. to get it forward quickly. Thiago with the crossfield ball. Mora. It's Morata! Goal! Spain! And it's Spain who take the lead. Perfect placement. The one place the keeper couldn't reach. Now that's what I call finishing, right in the corner. He knew instinctively who was where and didn't need to waste any time weighing things up. That's a cracking goal. Spain draw first blood here. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Forward tracking back like that, always appreciated by the crowd. You have to admire commitment like that because he could easily ignore that and just kind of walk around and let others do all the chasing. But instead, he looks as if he relishes the chance to uh, to dig in for his team here. Has he found his man? Sergio Ramos plays it over to the other flank. And it's played forward. He's got options out wide. Isco. 
Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Poland are trailing here with the first half almost done. Cuts it out. Rodrigo. Saul. Now it's Rodrigo. He's got away. Saul is onto it and can take it up. Saul. And that should be the keepers. And the counter is on. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. And the first 45 minutes are up. There we are, off they go for half-time. The breakthroughs did indeed come in the first half, but there has only been that one goal, which is very, very tight. Well, they definitely won't be happy with that half. They seem to lack a bit of desire, especially going forward. It wouldn't surprise me to see a change or two. So we're already into the second period. Poland need to get the balance right to sort this out. Ambition must be complemented by... Just the right amount of caution, and I think the more experienced players can oversee that. And no, that is pretty much the end of that. It's a goal kick. Battles to win it back. Saul. Ah, they're guilty of lacking inventiveness here, it's all broken down. He's had that put on a plate! Tries a shot! And that would have been some goal. But I just hope he won't let the failure to score affect him. With the ability he has, he can reproduce. Tries to switch the play, and it's Isco. Could move up a gear here. Thiago gets it back. Isco. Now it's Morata. Ball's loose. Who's getting there? Rodrigo goes through the middle. Rodrigo hits one! It's being played forward. Now it's Lewandowski. And now the breakaway. That's the end of that. It all started well enough. Rodrigo, he does have an assist to his name. And it's Saul. Whistle's gone, that's a foul. Well, the referee has made it pretty clear now that this is his last chance. Well, I think the referee would have told him to rein it in or, or suffer the consequences. Well, the crowd clearly liked what they just saw, some real no-nonsense defending. And again, they run up against stubborn defending. Rodrigo gets into a dangerous position. Sergio Ramos. Now it's Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Looking for a decent ball in. Great leap! It's in! A two-goal cushion, and it's looking safe! Oh, whose goal is that? Big deflection. That's one for the dubious goals panel. He's made it two, and no doubt he's hungry for more. Things starting to look very comfortable.
Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way and that losing feeling the other. That a foul? Yes, the uh, referee's given it. Well, that looks like a final warning. Still no card. Isco, it's a loose ball, Ramos, good challenge, he just stood firm, brings it forward, he spotted the run and played him through, he's left his man, that's great defensive work, it doesn't take too much imagination to guess what would have happened otherwise. Yeah, the confidence we can admire, the decision making we can't, he learned from it. Isco, just brushed off the ball there. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Poland don't appear to have what it takes to get back into this one, but they do have what it... Well, that's surely a foul free kick. Forward it goes. Lewandowski looks to get on the end of this. Pablo Sarabia. Just five minutes left. Now it's Thiago. Isco. Now it's Isco. Wonderful effort all by himself. Isco just backs himself every time. Give him the challenge and he rises to it. Look at the defender bombing forward. And he's there to cut it out. It's come loose. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Loose ball, who's going to get there? And that's it. Well, much worthy industry, but that alone, simply not enough. They are beaten by the better side. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen?